disclaimer, this episode might not be the highest quality episode because I've been trying to record for the last, from after three, it's now after five. I've been trying to record, but the dogs are awake, the roosters are awake, and I'm just having the worst time trying to record, but I just wanted to still put out this episode despite the difficulties because I don't want to miss a week and have it roll over into the next week because I have to keep my discipline up. So I just wanted to give out a disclaimer that if you hear any roosters in the background or any dogs in the background I am still working on my editing and I am still using my phone at this moment so just bear with me but come so rich and buy up all of the equipment them women need but for now I am working with my phone so please bear with me where quality editing is concerned welcome back to another episode of the banana show I'm your host Anna Banana and today or tonight's topic is going to be a little bit more interesting, more on the relationship side of things. You know, I've, I saw a question circulating on Twitter and I decided that, okay, I'm going to answer and give my two cents because this is an interesting perspective or interesting question rather but before I get into the meat of the matter I just want to thank you guys for continuously coming to listen to my podcast it is well appreciated and sometimes I feel discouraged and just look at the numbers and the fact that I have an audience my podcast is now available on YouTube so I want you guys to go over there like subscribe and comment you know let me know the topics that you are interested for me to talk about. Let me know if you like that particular episode. Just vibe in the comment section. No negative comments though, because I will delete your ass. Thank you again for coming each and every week. It is very much appreciated. We're going to get into the meat of the matter. The topic is, or the question is, should a man give a woman money like an allowance? No, I, when I saw this question, I bust out laughing. Well, not really bust out laughing. I bust out laughing in my mind because I don't want to be laughing on the road and people looking at me like I'm crazy. I mean, if you saw what went through my head, you probably think I was crazy with 15 tabs open and one song. You know, those old computers with 15, 16 tabs open, music coming from somewhere. You don't know where the music coming from. You're trying to shut it off. It's not turning off. That's what my mind is with a burst of creativity. But when I saw this question, I had to do a double take because this is really some bullshit or some double standard thing that is going on. So here is my my honest answer. No, I don't believe a man should give a woman allowance at all. He's not her father. If it is a case where I ha- I'm on the no and I'm on the maybe side. The no side is as a woman, you can't preach independence and then demand that a man give you an allowance that doesn't make any form of sense you cannot want equality higher pay and other things that you know women fight women have been fighting for over the years against men and gender equality but at the same time you're looking to depend on someone's son for upkeep that does not make any sense if you want gender equality you have to go all the way you cannot be biased on wanting to keep some of the benefits back in the day and you still want gender equality that doesn't those two doesn't go together and that's just my opinion i know i'm going to get attacked for it but i couldn't care less I only believe that a man should give a woman allowance if she is a stay-at-home mom, if they are married and they have an agreement that, you know, she's going to be a stay-at-home mom. Because in the end of, at the end of the day, she's going to need her own money to spend on her personal items and stuff like that. And whatever she needs, it's her his, his duty to provide it because she is keeping the home. A lot of men 
think that housekeeping is easy, but it's actually not. It is hard work to be cooking every single day, cleaning, washing, just the general upkeep of the house to ensure that it's clean, spick, span, and if you have kids, taking care of them at the same time and ensuring that the place is 100% kept. That's not easy, but a lot of people believe that. It's just a simple one too. It's just a simple one too. And if you want to know if it is easy, then you should probably try cleaning in the Christmas and you will understand what it is like to, to upkeep a house every single day. It might not be to that extent, but it's something like that extent. So you will understand that it's not easy on one person on a day-to-day -day basis to be cleaning, washing, cooking, and ensuring that the place is, you know, upkept. So she does deserve money for her personal things. And, you know, money just encourage labor. Everybody know that. I believe that in that situation, of course, a woman should get her allowance. So that's, um, that's, that's where... I'd say maybe and otherwise no because boss ass bitches never need no man and in this situation you're putting yourself in a situation where you would actually need the man and mama tell you something when you put yourself in a situation to depend on a man on a certain level not even just a man a woman human beings they do not most human beings that I have come across, most human beings that I've read about in books, most human beings characteristics is they don't function well with power. And I, and, and that's why I see power as a negative thing. And I know I need to work on that, but most human beings don't do well when they are put in a place of power and they tend to abuse it so when you know as a woman put yourself in the situation to depend on a man for an allowance he's going to use that against you and it is not going to be pretty because it's it doesn't always have to be like this but it can get into like the abuse you know my thoughts all jumbled up i have my thoughts on paper here but it's all jumbled up is I can put yourself in a situation for a man to take advantage of you. This is not always the case, but this is what happened most times when you completely tell yourself that you're going to depend on a man for allowance. There is different types of abuse. There's financial abuse. There is all kinds of abuse, financial, emotional, physical I can't remember all of them right now. I feel like I'm repeating myself, but I'm going to do it anyway. You're putting yourself in a position to get abused. And I know a lot of people is going to come and attack me. And I'm not saying that abuse is right. You are going to have to take some accountability, accountability for your actions in that way. Because you can't, don't look, can't look to a man to be a father that you never had because he's going to abuse that power because man you can't trust in them so i better you have your own things and your own money and your own this so whenever a boy want to feel like him want disrespect your step simple as that and that is always always have been my motto always have your own things because people them flaky and as soon as shit go down them turn upon you so you can't put yourself in that position so always have your own things one more point i wanted to make you see if a man is going to step to you and want you to look a certain way at all times then he's responsible for giving you allowance because he requires you to look a certain way what i mean look a certain way he wants your nails to always be done he wants your hair to always be done he wants you to look he always wants to make sure that you know you are keeping off weight or you're not gaining weight and him, him off a pay because at the end of the day it's not life get to a lot life get to a lot of us and we don't always have the facilities to ensure that we are always 100 percent looking you know decent and i know that is not his responsibility but if he's going to get up and complain about your appearance anytime any given time tell him to say okay then you don't like how this look pay for it simple as that 
I had a situation when I was younger. You know, this guy is going to talk about, oh, you know, you're gaining weight. That time I was depressed as fuck. I'm still depressed now, but that's beside the point. I was depressed as fuck. So I was um stress eating and all that stuff, comfort food and all that stuff. So I had gained weight. And he's like, okay, I don't like the fact that you are gaining so much weight because in the end, I'm going to get attracted and unattracted to you. So I was like, okay, then pay for gym. And he did. He paid for at least four months of gym until he just couldn't keep it up anymore. And I'm I'm saying, okay, then, because I know my determination and how I am. If you pay for the gym, I will go every day because I don't like to waste money. But it's a bit hard when you're in a state of mind of depression to work out and have motivation to work out on your own. So, yeah, him did have a pay up. If him want immediate results, him have a pay. That's just my belief. If you want, if you require the female, let me not say female because a lot of women have a problem with being called female. If you require women to look a certain way, it's your responsibility to upkeep that. If she can't upkeep it herself or if there is a situation where she just don't have it right now, it's your responsibility. And I'm not saying a man shouldn't contribute a man should contribute however he shouldn't have to contribute and you shouldn't demand that he contribute if he doesn't want to contribute that's his business make sure that you can live without him you shouldn't be depending on him for a living he's not your employer and he's not your father and he's not your mother so you have to understand that man should provide but he shouldn't have to give you allowance every single day he should ensure that you're well taken care of yes but he shouldn't have to always be providing especially in our situations and that's why man stress out enough time because because well it depends on which generation the man come from still but that's why them stress out and that's why them don't want a woman because woman expensive you see me and i just don't believe that as a boss as bitch you're supposed to be depending on a man for allowance in this day and age man for spend don't get me wrong but he shouldn't you shouldn't feel entitled to something that is not yours while wanting equality and wanting um independence you shouldn't be preaching independence and then doubling back to say okay this is okay because it's not and if he's going to pay you an allowance that means he is required to request certain services or certain this and certain that because no man is going to give up their money for free i know i wouldn't give up my money for free and i'm not saying that he should be entitled but you shouldn't be entitled either and it's just how it is it's fair game so that's my two cents and I know I was speaking a bit fast and jumbled, so I hope, you know, this episode is not a too, not too fast paced because this is the first I'm actually recording an episode one time and not parts by parts by parts and then putting it together. So I just hope, you know, it goes smooth when I edit. Um, I want to thank you guys for coming here. Remember to like, subscribe, comment, and vibe in the comments. Remember that I have a give a giveaway running. All you have to do is send an email to the banana show at gmail.com. The banana show 04 at gmail.com of your favorite episode. Why is it your favorite episode and how it has contributed to your well being? That's all you have to do to enter the giveaway. I have facial products to give away, face scrub, a uh, soap. I don't remember. A vegetarian soap, vegetarian based soap and whipped shea butter to give away. And the giveaway is running until the end of January. So you guys have a lot of time to enter. Remember the giveaway. And, you know, I'll see you guys in another episode. Remember to t- stay safe. Take care of your mental health. Mask up, sanitize, stay home if you don't have to go on the road. And I wish you guys a blessed week. And I will see you guys in another episode.